Transposing for the French horn is a very similar concept to that of the trumpet. However, the interval relationship is much different. So if on the French horn you play a written C, the sounding note will be a concert F, which is a perfect fifth lower. So if I'm trying to play this, if I'm playing a written C, I will hear a concert F. Now, if I want to play a sounding C, I have to transpose up a perfect fifth and play a written G at the top of the staff. So that G will sound a concert C. Now when we are playing uh, uh, music in, in band, let's say the whole band is playing Amazing Grace here in unison in, in, at a concert key of F. Now if you pick up your French horn and you start playing these written notes, if you're playing a flute part or something, playing these written notes, this C would sound an F, which is obviously incorrect. So what we need to do is to transpose all of these notes up by a perfect fifth. So when we do that, the C here becomes a G, and that will result in sounding a C. Now when we also transpose up, for French horn, transpose up a perfect fifth, we have to change this key signature as well. So and what we do is when we transpose up a perfect fifth, we add one sharp. So here we have the correct part written for French horn starting on a G, and it's going to sound a C, and the rest of the notes are transposed. Now, an important thing to remember here is if you are transposing a part that is written much higher, and when you transpose it up a fifth, it goes even higher and goes above the usable range for you know, a, a good French horn player. If it goes all the way above the staff, above a C at the top of the staff, second line C above the staff, uh, in a written pitch, then it's going to be too high for the horn. So instead of transposing up a perfect fifth, you would transpose down a perfect fourth. So if I were to have written this out, let's just say an octave higher, that would be getting you know, too high for the French horn to, if you transpose it up a fifth beyond that. So instead we trans would transpose it down a perfect fourth and still, and still add one sharp. It's the same note, but it's a different octave. So remember that as you are transposing parts for students in your band, uh, if you're transposing, let's say, a flute part, you're probably going to have to transpose it um, either down the perfect fourth or maybe even an octave and fourth down, depending on the ability of your French horn players. It's very possible that during your career you will encounter a French horn uh, piece of music that says horn in E flat. Most horn is written, it'll say horn in F, and that's for the modern French horn. And uh, signifying F because it's a perfect fifth lower, and so that sounding pitch is an F when playing a written C, as we talked about previously. Um, but some music is written for horn in E flat. And so when you come across that, you may need to transpose it for your students, or at least explain to them how to transpose that. And that's what we have here. Here again, we have Amazing Grace, and this is the written pitch for horn in E flat. Okay, So that's what, if the music says horn in E flat, this is what you're going to see. But if you try to play that on the modern French horn, the pitches are going to be incorrect. So what we need to do is transpose those notes. So here, this part down here is written for horn and E flat. And what we've done is we have transposed down a major second and added two flats. So here we're in the concert key of F. I go down a whole step. That puts us in the key of E flat. Add three flats and move all the notes down by a whole step. And then now we get the correct sounding pitch when playing these notes on the modern a French horn with a part written that says horn in F.